Hey, what's up everyone? Ralph here. So I got another work from home job opportunity for you guys. Uh, and this comes from PowerSchool. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with PowerSchool, uh, PowerSchool is a basically a K through 12 educational software and cloud-based uh, solutions company. And the position that they're offering today is a technical, is a technical support engineer. And based on the research when it comes to their salary, uh, the average pay on Glassdoor shows $104,000 a year. So that's a pretty good salary if anybody's interested. I mean, I'm pretty sure $104,000 is, is, um, is, is enticing to anyone um, that's watching this. So yeah, so the average salary for this position is about $104,000. And, and the good thing about this, it doesn't require too much experience um, as we'll go on, you know, as I'll explain, you know, when I go over the overview for the position. So it doesn't require too much experience, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good salary. And if you're interested in, obviously, um, we'll, we'll go over the details. So, so basically, the overview. So, this position, uh, under the general direction of both the supervisor and manager, provides technical support uh, for our award-winning higher education software um, systems. This position provides world-class solutions-oriented technical support with a strong focus on customer service uh, that is designed to maximum customer satisfaction. Uh, this position requires the employees to become proficient with all aspects of application software functionality in order to accurately analyze, troubleshoot, diagnose, diagnose, and resolve software or system system related issues. Uh, this position will interact with customers via telephone and written internet based communication. All right. So some of the responsibilities that's included is you're going to answer, evaluate, and prioritize incoming telephone, email, or chat-based requests for assistance with users experience problems with hardware, software, networking, with other computer-related technologies. Uh, recognizes uh, problems, uh, conducts research, provides resolutions and follow-ups with customers as needed, escalating more complex cases to appropriate team. Uh, you're going to log and track calls using problem management database and maintains history records and related problem documentation. Uh, prepare standard statistics reports such as help desk incident reports uh, consult with programmers to explain software errors uh, to recommend changes to programs uh, may test software software and hardware to evaluate ease of use and whether a product will aid use user in performing work and all other duties in the sign so some of the qualifications uh, that are required so um, it's going to require zero to two experience uh, years prior experience in technical support role so it says zero to two so if you're someone that doesn't have any experience with it um you doesn't you know eliminate your chances of of getting this job obviously the if you have two year experience that, that's that's going to help um but if you don't experience then that's fine because they probably train you uh which is a lot of companies right what they do is like if you don't have so much of the experience they're going to train you um with their systems anyways they want you to get familiar with their programs um their systems them. So um, if you don't have experience, not a big deal. Um, if you do, then obviously that helps you a little bit. So if, if you're proficient in Microsoft Suite, uh, Salesforce experience preferred but not required. Uh, also prior CRM experience preferred but not required. Uh, strong attention to detail and time management. Strong oral and written communication skills. Uh, strong customer service and conflict resolution skills. Ability to handle and heavy a heavy workload in multiple projects with frequent interruptions and scheduled changes. And associate's degree or equivalent work experience. Um, so associate's degree or equivalent work experience. So you see that they have the associate's degree, which is like two years, right? Uh, so that's probably, that's probably where they get the zero to two um, from. So if you have associate's degree, they're going to probably see that as, as two years experience. And that's probably going to qualify you for the position, for the job. Um, or if you don't have the associate's degree, any equivalent work experience. So if you have any work experience, um, then that's going to help you as well. Uh, but like I if you don't even, even if you don't have the experience, you know, they say, you know, I'm They'll probably train you anyway. So don't be discouraged if you don't have the experience. So uh, let's go into their careers and culture. Like, so see if they check out their benefits and perks. So some of the benefits, they have medical, vision, and dental insurance with HSA match. Uh, they got, you know, a fantastic work environment, uh, tuition reimbursement program, 401k match, and life insurance, discretionary time off, and unlimited vacation. Uh, they got a video game break room with pool and ping pong tables. Uh, employee referral program, free soda and coffee and tea, on-site gym at the Folsom headquarters in Roanoke office, and they got festive holiday parties and events. Obviously, the video game break room and the free soda and coffee, uh, the on-site gym, it's not going to matter to you guys because obviously it's a, it's a, it's a work from home uh, job. So, you know, it's not all that, all those stuff is not going to really like benefit you in any way um but obviously you have all the other things and keep in mind that this, this is a work this is a u.s a remote u.s job uh so you know just keep that in mind 
So you see some of the benefits that they, that that they have, um, and if you're interested, um, obviously you know just you make sure you just go to there and you, and you make sure you, you you apply, and I'll make sure um, and make sure like all the necessary like like you know skills and um, experience that they that you have. If you have any of these, make sure to put that on, on your resume or you know when it, when you're applying for the job, um, you know the apply buttons right here. You want to make sure that you you click on that, and then you know obviously you create your email and you just create a little profile for yourself. Um, so yeah, so just make sure. If you're interested in it, I'll make sure to leave a link to the job down below. Uh, so if you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below. Hit the like button and share. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. All right. So you guys take care and have a good one. Later.